It's a high speed police chase. Police pursuits can make you scream, but some will make your heart drop out of your chest. Today, I am going to show you a few adrenaline pumping police pursuits caught on camera. So keep your hand on your chest and let's begin. Number one, wild chase. This guy named Travis Grigler stole a Homeland Security vehicle from federal agents in Portland. Can you believe it? Man's got balls. The chase got nuts, hitting speeds of almost 120 miles per hour. It finally ended when Grigler crashed and flipped the stolen vehicle near Castle Rock, Washington. Wild, right? But get this, despite the crash, Grigler somehow came out of it okay. And guess what? The police managed to catch him in the end. Number two, North Little Rock Police Department. The North Little Rock Police were chasing a black Toyota Camry on Interstate 30. The car was speeding recklessly, hitting over 100 miles per hour. They needed backup and called in the Arkansas State Police for help. Trooper Blaine Lucas jumped in to assist on Interstate 30 near mile marker 139. He took the lead in the chase at the South Interchange and quickly caught up with the Camry. When there was a gap in traffic, Trooper Lucas used a tactical vehicle intervention maneuver, tapping the front right corner of his patrol car against the left rear corner of the suspect's vehicle. This caused the Camry to spin out and crash into the median concrete wall, ending the chase. Number three, Dodge Charger. It all started on the highway after officers tried to pull the car over for a traffic violation. But instead of stopping, the driver hit the gas, leading to a high-speed pursuit. As the Charger sped down the highway, police helicopters tracked it from above, providing real-time updates to the officers on the ground. The chase stayed straight along the highway, with no turns or exits. Despite the dangerous speeds, the driver managed to keep control of the car. Officers stayed close behind, coordinating to bring the chase to a safe end. Finally, the driver decided to pull over and surrender, ending the chase without any further incidents. Number four, Gwinnett County. A Gwinnett County transit bus led police on a chaotic chase through Gwinnett County, ending with a dramatic arrest. It started near I-85 and Jimmy Carter Boulevard, where the bus was driving recklessly and endangering other motorists. Despite the efforts of the Georgia State Patrol and Gwinnett County Police, including using spike strips and trying pit maneuvers, the bus kept going. During the chase, the bus ran stop signs, drove on the wrong side of the road, and hit several vehicles. Commuters were scrambling to get out of the way, and police blocked intersections to prevent more accidents. Police helicopters tracked the bus from above, coordinating with the officers on the ground. The bus eventually entered a neighborhood, increasing the danger to pedestrians and residents. Police finally stopped the bus and arrested the driver after a tense standoff. Several passengers got off the bus with their hands up, suggesting it might have been a hijacking. Number five, Yakima. Washington state law enforcement issued an Amber Alert for a young child kidnapped by his father, 39-year-old Elias Huizar. When they tried to stop him, Huizar sped off, starting a high-speed chase. Casey Codding joined the pursuit, and they tried several times to stop Huizar using tactical maneuvers. During the chase, Huizar briefly stopped and shot at the troopers. Codding returned fire, and the chase continued. Near milepost 197, Huizar's vehicle crashed into a commercial motor vehicle on the highway's shoulder, bringing the chase to a crazy end. Number six, Arkansas. On a routine traffic watch on Interstate 30 East, Trooper Cavaness noticed a white Dodge Journey speeding in a construction zone. The vehicle, driven by Donald Jackson, was going 83 miles per hour in a 50 miles per hour zone. As the vehicle neared the Arkansas River Bridge, Trooper Cavaness waited until after the bridge to turn on his emergency lights. Once past the bridge, 
Trooper Cavanus activated his emergency lights, prompting Jackson to exit the interstate at exit. Jackson then turned onto Broadway Avenue, bypassed a McDonald's, and turned onto Pine Street. During this maneuver, a brown object was thrown from the passenger side of the vehicle. After stopping the vehicle, Trooper Cavanus instructed Jackson to throw the keys out. Inside the car were several passengers. Tion Burton in the front seat, Jimmy Bryant in the rear, Jada Hubbard next to Bryant, and two small children behind the driver's seat. Backup units arrived, and the occupants exited the vehicle one by one and were taken into custody. Hubbard was allowed to tend to her children while being handcuffed. The vehicle was towed for an administrative inventory. A small black handbag containing feminine items and a 9mm magazine was found, but no other notable items were discovered. Number 7. KIA They were chasing a gold Kia Sorento with the Arkansas license plate ALB58W. The Sorento was first seen heading north on Missouri Street before turning east on the East Service Road. Trooper Evans spotted the Sorento, speeding east on East Service Road, and took the lead in the chase as the vehicle passed 7th Street. The Sorrento then got onto Interstate 40, speeding eastbound at over 120 miles per hour. The driver used all three lanes and both shoulders of the interstate, showing no regard for public safety. Trooper Evans tried a tactical vehicle intervention near the 282-mile marker, but it didn't work. The pursuit was called off at the Tennessee state line on Interstate 40. Number 9. Jeep Renegade They were hot on the trail of a white Jeep Renegade tearing up Highway 71B, heading north towards Rogers. The suspect's Jeep turned south onto Dixieland from Olive, cruising along at a slow speed. The officer decided to pull off a slick move called a TVI maneuver on the driver's side. It was supposed to stop the Jeep right there on the east side of Dixieland, facing west. But the suspect had other plans and reversed into a field. Quick on their feet, the officer rammed the Jeep's passenger side to block any escape routes. The suspect then bolted out of the field through a private parking lot and zipped back onto Olive Road. They made a sharp turn north on Dixieland, where the officer tried another TVI on the driver's side. Despite the attempt, the suspect plowed through some private property on the west side and hit Olive Road again, west of Dixieland. Near 24th Street, the officer tried two more TVIs to stop the Jeep, but no dice. The chase continued south onto 24th Street from Olive Road, and during a daring U-turn attempt by the suspect, the officer slammed into the driver's side, setting off the side curtain airbags. It wasn't over yet. The officer, backed up by Lowell PD and Benton County Sheriff's Office units, finally boxed in the suspect's Jeep, bringing this wild ride to a screeching halt. Number 10, Beige Cadillac SUV, an officer on Interstate 40 westbound near the 282-mile marker spotted a beige Cadillac SUV speeding at 86 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. The officer quickly took up the chase and pulled the vehicle over after it exited at Mound City. The driver told the officer he was in a rush because his mother was watching his son. When the officer asked him to step out of the car, Wilson took off sparking a high-speed pursuit. Wilson then turned off his lights and started driving recklessly, swerving all over the road. During the chase, a black bag was tossed from the passenger window. The officer tried several tactical vehicle interventions, and eventually the SUV spun out and crashed into a ditch. The driver was later identified as Nicholas Papacristou from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Number 11, Lamborghini. Spotted a gray 2019 Lamborghini Huracan, stopped at a red light on Sherman Way at Reseda Boulevard. The driver appeared to be asleep behind the wheel. With lights flashing and sirens blaring, the officers attempted a routine traffic stop. The driver, 
later identified as Elliot Dugan, 51, instead accelerated away, reaching dangerous speeds down Sherman Way. Moments later, the Lamborghini lost control, crashing into the median and trees along the road. Paramedics arrived quickly, but were unable to save Dugan, who was taken from the vehicle during the crash. Number 12, Officer Smith. Okay, so this video is pretty crazy. Officer Smith was cruising southbound on Interstate 555 near mile marker 46 when he spotted a white Nissan Versa that grabbed his attention. A quick check through ACIC showed the car wasn't insured. Thinking it'd be a routine stop, Officer Smith turned on his blue lights, expecting the Nissan to pull over. Instead, the driver took the Woodsprings road exit, keeping a steady 45 to 50 miles per hour. The chase continued onto Parker Ard, where Officer Smith tried to get the driver to stop at a red light on Southwest Drive. He got out of his patrol car and waved for them to stop in a nearby parking lot. But instead of doing what he said, the driver hit the gas and zoomed across Southwest Drive and back onto the southbound ramp of I-555, leading Officer Smith to call in a pursuit. Around 9.43 a.m., Officer Smith tried a tactical vehicle intervention near the on-ramp, which caused the Nissan to swerve into a ditch on the west side for a moment before they were back up to speed and heading southbound at over 100 miles per hour. Then, Officer Smith went for another TVI, this time from the passenger side, and that caused a side-swipe crash, but he stayed with them guiding the Nissan towards a concrete wall by the road. Number 13, California. It's a high-speed police chase. This dash cam footage from a California police chase zooms in on Juan Valdez, wanted for domestic abuse as he kicks his escape plan into high gear. The tension spikes when he suddenly ditches his ride and bolts out of his car, triggering a real nail-biter. Valdez goes all in, trying to carjack a passing vehicle in a desperate bid to dodge the cops. But plot twist, the driver's no pushover. They hit the gas, leaving Valdez scrambling to hold on as they peel away. Not one to quit, he switches tactics, darting around to the other side, still gunning for a ride out of there. Meanwhile, the cops aren't messing around. They're on it, warning Valdez loud and clear to drop it and surrender. Number 14, Juvenile. In Cleveland, it was a crazy scene when a teenager took off in a stolen Jeep, sparking a dangerous high-speed chase. The kid was flying down the streets, hitting speeds over 100 miles per hour with police hot on his tail. Sadly, the chase ended in tragedy when the Jeep crashed, resulting in the death of Michelle Wall, a 44-year-old from the area. After the wreck, things didn't calm down. The teenager tried to make a run for it, but law enforcement nabbed him before he could get far. Now, he's sitting in juvenile detention, facing some really serious charges for his reckless actions that turned deadly. Number 15, more police. More police get a call about a stolen car near NW 12th and Janeway. Classic setup, right? But here's where it gets wild. When they try to pull over the driver, instead of stopping, the guy floors it. Cue the chase scene. So this dude's tearing through the streets, evading the cops until, boom! He crashes the stolen car near Sunrise Doctor and takes off running like something out of a movie. They're jumping fences, dodging through yards near First Christian Church of Moore, trying to catch this guy. After a heart-pounding chase, they finally nab him in someone's backyard but it's not over yet. They have to use a taser twice to get him to settle down. Tough break though. Officer Sternberg catches a zap too briefly. Once they've got things under control, they take the suspect, Dontavia Smith, to the hospital for a quick checkup, you know, because of the taser before hauling him off to Cleveland County Jail. All in all, this whole roller coaster ride lasted about four minutes. Number 16, Georgia. This guy led officers on a high-speed chase that turned violent. Here, armed with an AK-47, 
shot and critically injured Carrollton police officer Rob Holloway, along with two others. Body cam footage captured the intense shootout, ending with police fatally shooting Pierre Shelton to stop the threat. Retired officer Rob Holloway, who was shot in the head, expressed forgiveness toward Aaron Shelton, Pierre's cousin who was driving the car, in the court. He is, however, now convicted on 22 charges, including murder. Number 17, USC Campus. Late one night near the USC campus, things got crazy as police chased down a reckless driver. It all started when the driver ignored orders to stop, even after two passengers bailed out. Speeding down dimly lit streets near 37th Street and Grand Avenue, the Cadillac SUV darted through red lights, narrowly missing other cars left and right. Up above, a police chopper kept tabs on the SUV's wild ride through the surface streets. With no headlights, the driver made it a nightmare for others on the road. The SUV pulled over and a woman stepped out, seeming ready to give up. The helicopter's spotlight made her easy to spot since no police cars were in sight at first. Soon enough, officers swooped in, secured the scene and checked out the SUV. Lucky break, no one got hurt and they wrapped things up without any more drama. Number 18, Vandalism. In this one, the suspect, driving a silver pickup truck, sped at 80 miles per hour and entered a Pomona residential area, where chaos ensued with a head-on collision involving a red sedan. Despite the violent crash, the suspect persisted, even tossing a dog out of the window during the chase. The scene finally came to a halt at Mission Boulevard and East Brea Place in Pomona. The driver of the red sedan walked away fine, while the suspect, bloodied and injured, was apprehended after resisting arrest. Number 20, Milwaukee Police. A reckless driver in a Kia Sportage led Milwaukee Police on a high-speed chase that concluded in Glendale, Wisconsin. But no injuries were reported, despite the vehicle driving onto the sidewalk at one point. The footage shows the KIA driving at a high speed through residential areas, risking the lives of many. Well, when you act like a crackhead, you get what you deserve too. Number 21, Greenfield. This video was like something out of a movie. This guy was speeding like a maniac down the wrong lane, blowing through a red light and bam, smashed right into an SUV at 76th Street and Layton Avenue. Can you imagine? The impact was so intense it took out a traffic light, a fire hydrant, and even messed up the wall of Robert Huck Diamonds just before the big shopping rush. And get this, the suspect's car caught fire right after the crash. It was chaos, but thankfully, the Greenfield police were on it. They managed to pull three people out of the wreck before the flames took over. Even though the folks in the SUV got banged up, Thank goodness their injuries weren't life-threatening. Number 22, need for speed. In a real-life high-speed chase through city streets, the intensity was like something out of a movie. It started as a regular pursuit, but quickly turned into a heart-pounding spectacle that could match any Hollywood thriller. With sirens blaring and lights flashing, it felt like a high-stakes race, grabbing the attention of everyone who saw it. Number 24, Ram. Milwaukee witnessed a tense police chase involving a Ram 1500 truck as the driver evaded officers through city streets. The pursuit game went on for over 20 minutes, but the additional footage was never released. But from the looks of it, it's pretty clear that the driver definitely wasn't thinking right. Fortunately, the incident ended without injury. Number 25, South Los Angeles. In South Los Angeles early one morning, a driver being chased by police crashed into an apartment building, causing a fire. The car, with four people inside, hit a first floor apartment and caught fire. Thankfully, people living upstairs got out safely. Can you imagine? And with that, we are done today. What do you think about all these drivers leading police on a high stake chase? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button 
See you in the next one.